So hi guys, how are we? And for everyone who's going to watch this as a replay on our Facebook group, welcome. My name is Lloyd Chambers. Um, and, you know, I got introduced to this product line quite a while ago. It was back in March of 2017. And I live here in Ireland. And uh, Ireland is a land known for its skepticism. Okay. However, I did have an injury. Um, and so when I was first introduced to the business side of things, it wasn't something that resonated with me for one reason or another, um, possibly timing. Um, but then I had an injury and I got back to the person who introduced me to it. And I went, you know what? That medicinal mushroom sounds pretty cool. And I think it could really help my arm. So I asked the question, and I guess a lot of you guys will have asked and are probably asking yourself right now, I have this challenge here. I wonder, could this help me? And so... The chances are very likely yes, um, but you have to find out for yourself. Uh, you can read all the testimonies and all that stuff within our Facebook group in which you're very likely watching this or somebody sent you this recording, in which case you can ask to get added to that group and, and check out what other people are saying. But ultimately, you know, it's, it's um, experience that trumps knowledge every single time. So on the left-hand side, as you can imagine, I was pretty upset. That was my forearm, this one right here. And... Um, I was a kickboxer at the time, and I also played a guitar with this hand. And I was a little worried, to be honest. Um, a metal spike went halfway through my arm. That's the tendon, not the bone. <laughs> it's a very gruesome picture, but I, I, I contacted Eric, who had introduced me to the Reishi Mushroom, and he said, you know, he, he told me loads of things about it. And it's something about it stuck with me. I think it was just the, the authenticity of the way that he shared it with me, to be honest. And so I decided I'd give him a call. I said, Eric, can you help me? I sent him a picture. He was horrified. He was like, oh, my God, what happened to you? I said, well, I slipped. Uh, but more importantly, I want to solve this. I want to go back kickboxing as soon as possible. Um, so those two photographs are three and a half weeks apart. So obviously you're talking about reducing an inflammation. That's kind of obvious from the picture. Also a huge ability to heal and rebalance the body, bringing it back to something called homeostasis, which I guess Dr. Bob will mention considering the topic today. Um, and then also I had no pain three and a half weeks later. And as you can imagine on the left there, that was quite painful. So it struck and caught my attention very quickly. Now, for me, what really caught my attention more than anything else was the fact that I also had had psoriasis, which is an expression of your genes uh, and your autoimmune uh, response being out of whack from an imbalance, uh, which again falls into the topic of epigenetics, which uh, Dr. Bob's going to share a little bit more in depth on. But my psoriasis went away. And it didn't come back. Now, I know now that that's not that unusual. But at the time, I was like, wow, can a mushroom do that? Like, could it be the mushroom or, or was it something? Or what else was I doing? But everything else was the same. And so it really caught my attention. So um, as I started to see how this could help um, other people, you know, just with the basics of having a little bit more energy, not having that dip in the afternoon that they were used to having um, because they, they, they were able to boost their energy using this mushroom. People who were sleeping better, people whose, you know, uh, blood sugar was sort of balancing and, and blood pressure was improving. And I started to realize there's something going on here and I don't really understand what it is. So let me go find someone who knows what they're talking about. So at this point, I got introduced to Dr. Bob and I, I, I watched a load and load of these videos that he'd made. I said, wow, this guy really knows what he's talking about. And so I could really get behind that type of information. And since then, I have uh, met with lots of people across the world who also share this interest in mushrooms. And I've realized that all of those things were exactly as I was told originally. But Dr. Bob is someone who's been working with uh, elite athletes for a very long time, almost three decades now at this point, but he also works with people who are very, very ill, people who've been essentially written off by uh, conventional medicine and told, look, your prognosis is not good. Like in this case, you're going to lose the foot. In other cases, you know, you're not going to be around for much longer. 
that type of thing. And so the amount of responsibility that's in his hands is huge from top class athletes with a lot of money involved to the most important thing in the world that's involved, which is life itself. Um, so I'm going to pass across to Dr. Bog because he's best suited to have this conversation around epigenetics and how we can sort of modulate that, and bring it back into balance and get the right uh, things firing where we want them. So Dr. Bob, you've been a huge inspiration to me. I'm very grateful to have you here and I'm excited to see what you're going to share with us today. So thank you very much. Well, thank you always for the brilliant intro and I'll get my picture up on the front there. There we go. Um, so, you know, I, I do have broad clinical experience. Part of what I've done is I've taught over 10,000 hours of continuing education seminars, literally to doctors all over the world on six different continents. So nearly every topic in natural medicine I've addressed with a full day seminar, including epigenetics, which means above the genes. But at any rate, I had a very scary x-ray report years ago that was suggesting an MRI or bone scan. This, by the way, was not my x-ray, but this is what I envisioned because I hadn't seen the film, only the report. Uh, and they were looking for metastatic cancer. And, you know, literally, I, I didn't need another business, but I've heard it said that if your business is 100% dependent on you, you're one mishap away from being out of business. So picture, you know, nine years ago, my oldest son was still in high school. My, my girls were, were younger even yet. Uh, and if I had a short time to live, that was really going to be a bummer. So I decided that I was going to build a business that didn't depend on me and that would definitely outlast me. And that's what this business is. So at the end, we're going to ask you, you have a choice. You're going to be a one, a two, a three, or a four. A one basically says, you know, no thanks. I'm not interested in anything. Uh, that would be pretty rare. A two would be, you know what? I love the products, but the business is not for me. A three would be, well, I really like the idea of the business, not so much the products. And a four is like Lloyd and I, we're really excited about both. We're excited to share these treasures and build phenomenal wealth. So quite simply, this is Gwyneth Paltrow as she is. This is Gwyneth Paltrow in a fat suit in the movie Shallow Hal. But realistically, we all have within us our best version of ourselves, and then far less than our last version. And it's really dependent upon the choices that we make. Our choices are definitely going to trump the genes. So in 1989, the Archives of Internal Medicine had an article entitled The Deadly Quartet. And they said, if your weight was too high, if your blood pressure was too high, if your blood sugar was too high and your blood fats were too high, you were gonna die early, but they really completely missed the boat. That is not the deadly quartet. The deadly quartet includes stress, toxins, malnutrition, and physical inactivity. Uh, and the great news is that Ganoderma is really good for all of the above. First thing is that stress is immunosuppressive. This has been known for over 50 years. When we get stressed out, that's when our immune system gets run down and we get sick, or maybe even worse, we get cancer. The immune cell that's most sensitive to stress is called the natural killer cell. Uh, and there it is actually going and attacking a tumor cell. And there it is uh, in the blood as it actually looks. So these kill viral infected cells and cancer cells. So Hannah Cohen, this is a picture of her top of her head uh, in 2012. She had a massive convulsive seizure. 911 was called. Um, nine hours surgery and they said, oh my God, your brain is loaded with cancer. We can't get all of it. It's very aggressive. You're going to die. So get your affairs in order. Well, I went to a cancer lecture over 30 years ago and the PhD researcher, Dean Black, started out with a question to a group of 200 doctors, how does a hurricane start? And the answer he wanted was a hurricane starts when conditions are just right. He then asked, how does a tornado start? A tornado starts when conditions are just right. How does cancer start? It starts when conditions are just right. And what are the conditions of cancer? Low oxygen, low nutrients, high acid, chronic inflammation, and immune suppression, secondary to chronic distress. Uh, I was at a major con conference a few years ago and I gave an updated lecture on cancer. There was an oncologist in the audience and I asked him, so which of the approved medical therapies improve any of the conditions of the perfect storm of cancer. What cancer therapies do that? And his answer was simple, none of them. Then I asked which of the therapies make the conditions worse? And his answer was all of them. 
So it's no surprise that we're losing the war on cancer. I wrote the foreword to Hannah's book, uh, and that picture was her last year, eight years cancer free, which is so fun. Uh, has an absolutely beautiful life and is doing fantastic. I've also done Zooms with integrated oncologists. Those are available on video. A couple of these doctors heard me lecture and they said, you know what, my patients need to know about this. Ganoderma has proven directly against 15 different types of cancer and some of the worst uh, infections around. It's also an immunomodulator, so it's good for autoimmunity and allergy. And reality is everybody can benefit from it. The World Health Organization says that toxins are responsible for one fourth of the problems on the planet. Uh, and these are four different references that shows that Ganoderma can prevent the damage from some of the most severe toxins. So this MPTP was known to induce Parkinson's in a single dose. And it took researchers 35 years to try dosing the animals with Ganoderma before they injected them with NT MPTP. And that's the first compound they ever found, and I think still the only one that could prevent MPTP-induced Parkinson's. Carbon tetrachloride can cause liver failure, but when they give Ganoderma before it, it does not cause liver failure. Uh, STZ is something that causes pancreatic failure, but when they give Ganoderma, no, the pancreas doesn't fail and the animals do not become diabetic. Uh, and then there was a neural tube toxin uh, that was studied in mice, not because they, they certainly wouldn't do that in humans, but when they gave a single dose of Ganoderma, instead of causing that defect in 80% of the offsprings, it went down to about 21%. We also know that polluted areas are more at risk to COVID. So picture that it's great for the immune system, great for stress, great for body pollution. And by the way, uh, we're not supposed to give that type of data, but if you were to get on the pubmed.gov and type in Ganoderma plus COVID, COVID-19, you would find something very fascinating. Like, yeah, there's a proven study that shows that it helps. Ganoderma also prevents chemo resistance, enhances the killing effect of radiation while helping protect the normal cells and has no known toxicity uh, in humans or animals. Malnutrition is the number one cause of death on planet Earth. The Global Nutrition Report says every country on planet Earth has malnutrition. And what's fascinating is that I've learned over time that you know uh, adults really want things that are both delicious and convenient, like part of their normal routine. So we put Ganoderma in coffee and teas and shakes, things that most people do every single day, and they can automatically get this profound health benefit. So all of these athletes were very consistent with every program that I put them on during their season or career. But guess what? When the season was over, when the career was over, they all basically stopped. But since I've started using Ganoderma coffees and teas, now everybody gets consistent doses multiple times a day, every day of the year, and they have a great way of staying healthy. And we have kid-friendly products, great tasting shakes and even hot chocolate. I like to tell the story of Frank lost a hundred pounds in 10 months drinking a shake that he was very skeptical of because it was just too delicious to promote weight loss. And he ultimately got the girl. And so what a great win. Move right, Einstein said nothing happens until something moves and pain and fatigue are the top reasons that people do not move. Well, this fancy reference when it says that Ganoderma increases mitochondrial electron transport complexes what that means is mitochondria make 94% of human energy and Ganoderma makes them more efficient and more effective. Pain and fatigue are the reasons for lack of moving. Ganoderma modulates the inflammatory process by a dozen proven mechanisms. And it's even proven against very painful conditions like rheumatoid arthritis uh, and fibromyalgia where medicine really doesn't have a good solution. And notice what Lloyd said, in three weeks, his arm didn't hurt anymore either. So great celebrities like Manny Pacquiao and Ulysses literally felt a mega difference after a single cup. Uh, our product is that good and that powerful. And I will say that they are that in tune with their bodies. So I'm gonna stop right there for a second and see if anybody has uh, a health question before we transition to a little bit of a business conversation. 
any questions about health and or epigenetics? And I might look at the chat. I'm seeing a question. You can unmute yourself and ask. Does it help with respiratory issues? Great question and yes. So there's a medical study that shows that it improves airway uh, opening by more mechanisms than prescription inhalers without any negative side effects. So instead of having multiple bad side effects, it has a hundred plus good benefits along with breathing better. Yes. That's a that's really interesting question that you asked there, Harley. Um, as it happens, uh, we have a red tea, uh, which has cordyceps in it. Maybe you could talk just a tiny bit about what, how cordyceps is different from reishi and Ganoderma. And you will hear these words inter intermittently used, but they're actually the same mushroom that Dr. Bob was referring to. Yeah, and, and so basically cordyceps has a long history of helping bodies in a lot of ways, and especially when it comes to breathing and oxygenation. Uh, and so we've had people that, you know, I, I have a professional athlete that had asthma and, you know, his off season was uh, the spring and normally he'd do a little jog to get in shape, but it was also allergy season. And he always had his inhaler with him when he would jog and he finished his first jog ever of his entire life where he didn't need his inhaler. And, you know, he, he messaged me right away. He says, Bob, this is amazing. I don't need my inhaler you know, could it be the red tea? I said, could it be anything else? What else have you changed? He said, that's the only thing I've changed I've made. I said, well, there you have it. It's the red tea. Uh, and, you know, he works with a lot of uh, elite athletes and we have tons of people in the NHL taking it for improved performance. Go ahead. 100%. Thanks so much. Um, and then one other question that I had there was for somebody who's maybe hearing this for the very first time, um, what uh, like how would this compare with something like that people would be very familiar with? So like in, in Ireland, uh, everybody talks about CBD, CBD all day, every day, as, just as an example. Uh, we're getting more knowledge about adaptogenic herbs in Ireland and people are starting to get, kind of get au fait with mushrooms, turkey tail, the likes of uh, lion's mane, chaga, that type of thing. Not so many people are all fine with, with reishi and, and cordyceps. So maybe you could just share a bit about what, how they're different, uh, please. Okay. Well, uh, in terms of when you start looking at websites like superfoodforsuperhealth.com and superfoodevolution.com, the Ganoderma is the consensus number one superfood. Now, interestingly enough, hemp because of CBD is ranked on one of those sites, number four and number five. So, you know, it's, it's not even in second place or third place. One has it in four, one has it in five. There's no doubt that there are a lot of superfoods. Uh, CBD containing foods are also superfoods, but it's the volume of information, the safety, the efficacy. When you start looking at Ganoderma, one, we'll show you in the back half, we have the purest Ganoderma out there. We have patented processes. We get the greatest bioavailability and other things like that. Um, and when you start looking at CBD, there can be issues of contamination. Uh, and in the state of Texas, we were worried, we were told to be very careful about CBD sources because one individual was taking a CBD that he got from a chiropractor and he tested positive for THC and he got fired for a government job where he was earning 160,000 a year and he sued the chiropractor and won. So um, Ganoderma, no risk, no toxicity, proven benefit, the clear top superfood on the planet. CBD is good, but there's a downside and a risk to it as well. Yeah, 100%. Cordyceps, Thanks for that. By the way, Cordyceps has the same type of safety profile. Cordyceps is going to be the number two medicinal mushroom. Yeah. Thanks so much. And um, so. Lloyd, I think you're frozen. Or maybe I'm frozen. Everybody looks frozen. No, we're not frozen. Maybe that was you. <laughs> That's okay. We're unfrozen now. Okay. okay. So, uh, so the question is, tea versus spores, does it matter? Is one better than the other? Well, you know, the, the best therapy is the one that you'll do consistently. If people have a coffee or tea habit that they do every day, 
the Ganoderma quality is going to be the same. So you're going to get a dose of Ganoderma. Now, when people have a very severe problem, you know, I, I had a person reach out to me this weekend with bad shingles. They felt like their arm was on fire. And, you know, I, I usually do two spores every waking hour until the pain is gone. And that's usually a day or, or two days at the most. Uh, and keep in mind that there's about 10% of people that keep shingles pain forever. They never get rid of it. When you start looking at Ganoderma, uh, there's a medical study that shows that medically when people had remission, 12% had recurrence within a year, zero of the Ganoderma study had, had recurrence. So it's a better, more proven, safer, and more effective remedy for even severe conditions. And again, it doesn't have toxicity to it. Yeah, no, I would have to echo that. I mean, whatever you're going to consume on a daily basis, it builds up. Uh, I think it's the word is bioaccumulative. Yes. Like yes. I'm learning, eh? You are very. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and then also, how often do you need to drink it in order to reap the benefits? That's another question. Well, you can safely drink it multiple times every single day. And so, but you start looking at people like Manny Pacquiao or Ulysses, they had benefit on the first dose. Awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna segue. And so, you know, as anyone who knows me knows that I'm passionate about a number of different things. Number one is mushrooms. The second, however, is in entrepreneurship and educating people, supporting, guiding people in finding a better way whatever that might be for you. So we probably recognize over the last little while the world's turned upside down and inside out. Doesn't look like what it used to look like. And it seems unlikely that it's ever going to based on what we're looking at at the minute. So in the way that we do business is going to have to change if it hasn't already. And so the people, what I've noticed, the people who pivoted early, like as in March last year, like straight away went, uh oh, okay, now we need to pivot and figure out where are people doing well? Let's go incorporate some of what they're doing into what we're doing and then let's make it work somehow. And then other people have had entire industries just fall out from under them that they've been in for 20, 30 years. And it's the only thing they're educated and know how to do. So when it comes to entrepreneurship, it is important that you have your options open to other things. For some of you, you might think, hey, let me just try it. Maybe I'll feel better. Uh, from other people who have a bit more of an entrepreneurial mindset, you might be thinking a little bit further than that. How could I potentially market it through my network in a way that they feel good? I feel good that I'm helping them. And it creates another income stream where the person's really grateful that I actually shared it with them. So that's what we're going to segue into. We're going to probably do 12 minutes at tops. Uh, and then we'll have a quick Q&A. And uh, then after that, if anyone has any questions, you can just loop back to whoever invited you onto the call and uh, we can get those questions answered for you. So, Sir Lloyd, I actually have a hard stop with a podcast in five minutes. So what I'm going to do is make you ah. post uh, in a moment. I'll leave the slides on the screen. But you know, here's a known fact. Coffee is very acidic. It has more than 30 acids. So one of our patented processes pulls the acid out of the coffee. And that one, that makes our coffee a lot more friendly. It's pre-brewed, it's just add water, it's super convenient. By the way, it's also easy. You can take a sachet and you can make a double espresso strength or you can make it as mild as you want. Whereas we reduce the acid, then all of the enzymes within Ganoderma work more effectively. And we also work to alkalize the body, which is so powerful. We have another patented process by which we extract the nutrients. Uh, and we have 99.9% .9 nutrient bioavailability from our spores, which are the strongest form. Closest competitor that we looked at were at 15%. So it's very powerful. Super safe in terms of pregnancy. Pregnant women can and should consume it regularly. Uh, as Jack Welch told us, he was CEO of the last century. You know, if you don't have a competitive advantage, don't try to compete. And our competitive advantages are patented. This is what most of the competition is selling. Ganoderma US alone is a $2.5 billion a year product. Uh, and most people know that this isn't going to be very good on that site. But guess what? They have a ground up and put in capsules or coffee or tea. They don't know what they're getting when they get ours. They do know what they're getting. 
this company has crossed the uh, T's and dotted the I's on all of the quality certifications and meets the strictest food codes on the planet. 500 billion cups of coffee a year is our market and that market grows every single year. Here in the US, if people drink 3.3 cups a day, which is the average of all the coffee drinkers, that's over 1,200 cups a year. So think about doing the work once and getting paid 1,200 times. And our advantages were delicious, affordable, convenient, and turbocharged. And think about that. Do you know anybody that wants better health or better wealth or all of the above? And just to sweeten the deal, the company owns an organic skincare company. They own a travel company with over 100,000 resort locations around the world. I was at that beach in Bali at the guaranteed lowest prices, five-star accommodations. And they partnered with a brain technology company called Neurotracker that guarantees with over 53 published studies a better brain in 90 minutes, which each of the training sessions are six minutes apiece. When you start talking about compounding wealth, you know, it's easier than ever with Zoom. Just get people to try the product, listen to the Zoom. And if they think like we think, they say, you know what? I know the world drinks coffee and tea. I know the world wants to be healthy. I know that people are more concerned about their finances than ever before. Well, imagine you get 10 people that say, this makes sense. I want to grow it. Well, that 10 can grow to 100, can grow to 1,000, can grow to 10,000. And some prof professional networkers can do that in a matter of months. It costs $49.95 to join plus your initial inventory. And the company has what they call their accelerator packs, pre-packs available with different types of inventory, whether you want to focus on skincare or shakes or coffee or tea or brain technology or travel, you can accelerate your earnings. But $49.95 starts the process. And you know, when I finish, I like to finish with these four questions. And Sir Lloyd, I'm going to make you the uh, host then. But here are the questions. Why did you take the time to be with us today when there's so many other things you could do? Second question is the answer to the first. Why not? You know, why not learn about something that can help you in so many ways and also can help literally everyone you know? Third question, why not you? Someone's going to just take advantage and start building their health and their wealth. And we have a vested interest in helping you to build your great team. Final question is why not now? The longer you wait to act on information, the least likely you are to act on it. So here's what I suggest. Go ahead and join, get the products, plug into the Zooms and start building. Sir Lloyd, you are officially the host. I've got to go to a podcast. Uh, but when you're done, hit the end button and then I'll get you the recording later. Thank you all Welcome. so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day, sir, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful questions. You're welcome. Bye. I love it. Um, so, guys, um, that's what we wanted to share with you. Uh, I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something interesting. I hope that uh, given the climate that we're in, that you choose whether in this way or some other way to uh, improve your health and, and take care of that because it really is important as you as we're starting to realize recently um, and remember like what i have written here the effect that we have on others is the most important currency we have so people do remember when you look out for them and uh, particularly when it comes to their health and any opportunities that are working for you it's important to share them with other people so quick questions anybody have any questions at all before we wrap up? Val. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, Val, how are you? Try to Good. see you. Um, I have a, a question just to refresh my memory and my refresh some of other people. Um, mm -hmm. As far as the compensation plan with Organo, mm -hmm. you, you start getting commission once you have your two legs. Can you refresh a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, for those of you who are already uh, participating in the program, this is going to make more sense than those people who are seeing this for the first time, obviously. Um, but yeah, when two people join your team um, and purchase a pack, so they decide they want to do business, they want to develop, uh, you know, develop a customer base, you are what's called dual team qualified, and then commissions flow through that team. 
on both sides. Yeah, now it depends which one you bought. So if you bought the bronze, it's a 10%, um, 15 for silver and 20 for gold, uh, basically. Yeah, so, but I can send you a video on the, that, that goes on a deep dive of that, which Dr. Bob created. Yeah, so you can watch it in your own time and then get a little bit more clarity, no problem. Cool, okay. thank you, Luke. Uh, Heidi, you had a question, young man. Hi, I'm Harley. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. <laughs> Just ask your questions. <laughs> well, um, so my question is, can we um, add Ganoderma to our food? You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they sell, uh, we sell Ganoderma in three parts, as you already know, because you love mushrooms, as we already discussed. <laughs> You've got the mycelium, which is the root system, which is very calming for the central nervous system and the brain, right? So it's good for sleep. I like to have it in the evening time, but I give it to my daughter with her breakfast, right? And I do that so that she doesn't wreck the place for the most part. Uh, but it's also really good for her because she, she's able to manage her emotions better because chemistry is not firing off at a rate of knots. Um, but yeah, you can add it to food for sure. Yeah, yeah. but you would use the supplements highly. And yes, you can market it, uh, although you do have to be over 18 to join the company, although your mother could, and then you could market it any which way you like. <laughs> so as a team, of course. Right? And we have a couple of people in the community where um, you know, I think one one girl she stuck a fork in the uh, microwave for some reason, probably just to see what would happen, I guess. And she destroyed her microwave. Right now, I don't use microwaves, but anyway, this, that, this is how the story happened, right? So her parents decided to teach her a lesson, and they sent her around door to door uh, to make the money back to pay for the microwave. So what they said was, look. You know, I made a mistake at home. My parents are trying to teach me, you know, to be to be responsible. So I've got this hot chocolate that I'm selling. It's really good for, uh, you know, for sleep and for stress and stuff. And if you'd buy one from me, that would be amazing because then I can make the money back so I can get back to my studies and what I, what I should be doing because I need to pay for it. Uh, and she actually made $200 in an afternoon, right? So because all the neighbors, of course, wanted to help, right? And so it's important to understand that because it's things like chocolate and, and uh, coffee and tea, people do this every day, right? And in fact, the only reason why people stop doing it is because it's not good for your health, typically. I mean, tea is obviously not gonna, not gonna damage anyone too much, but if you drink a lot of coffee, there are some downsides potentially. And if you take a lot of chocolate, there's some obvious downsides, although everybody loves it, I might add. Um, but when you mix it with Ganoderma, it balances uh, those things out. So you can still enjoy what you wanted to do anyway. And uh, now you've turned it into a healthy habit. So that's the idea. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I have to go to my own family, have my own dinner, and then I have another call about something completely different in about half an hour. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you for being Thanks, here. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Howard, bye -bye. Addy, Carl, great to see you on here. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.